Okay, so snakes always eat their prey whole. And so we can see this is Buttercup. And she's a, a gopher snake. She's actually from Utah. And she's eating a mouse that has already been killed. You can see her kind of walking her way up that mouse. Now snakes always eat their prey whole. And so she'll start at the head because the fur and limbs all kind of fold better that direction. Her bottom jaw is very elastic and her lower jawbone is not connected at the front like our jawbone is and that allows it to stretch really wide. And you can see the way she walks those jaws up the mouse. Here she's walked down a quite a ways already. She's just working on getting those last two legs and the tail down. And that's the widest area, so those jaws are really going to have to stretch out wide. Now while they're eating something like this, it could be hard to breathe. And they've actually in their lower jaw got an extension of their trachea that they can extend out of the mouth to allow them to breathe almost like a snorkel while they're eating a big, big meal like this one. She's doing pretty well now. Eating can be kind of difficult when you've got no hands and no ability to bite off any pieces. All right, so she's just kind of working her way around that last little bit. Look how wide that head is now. Stretched out, like we said. The jaws don't actually disconnect, but they can stretch. They're very elastic. They've got a lot of ligaments and tendons that can stretch a lot. Here she is just polishing off that last little bit. She's going to start working it down towards her stomach. Stomach's about two, about sixty percent of the way down the body. And snakes are mostly body. Just the last few inches are going to be tail after the vent. And I love watching this because the food a lot of times will stay just sort of in the same spot, and the snake starts moving forward. So watch as her head goes further and further off to the right. That mouse is moving down her body. And she's got such a beautiful pattern. I just love Buttercup. Just looping that last little bit of tail like a noodle. Get a first taste of what's going on in the rest of the world. After eating a meal like this, Buttercup won't have to eat again for at least a week. Sometimes they can go months without eating again. It's one of the benefits of having a slower metabolism than most endotherms do. She's got a lot of muscles that are just contracting that just push that mouse on down the body towards the stomach. See it tasting again with that forked tongue. That allows her to smell. She can track her prey that way. It detects a lot about the environment with that forked tongue. There she is moving along. She starts to move. Mouse stays about right where it was. This muscles just squeeze it down the body. Just squeeze it on down. So good. Just 
Thanks for watching. Say goodbye, Buttercup.